Thank you, and thank you so much for being here today and making your voice heard and joining in solidarity around the idea that the first priority of our Texas lawmakers needs to be listening to the demands of the Texas people. Um, at Texans Care for Children, we work to improve the lives of Texas children through policy change. Through our members across the state and through our monthly coalitions and in partnership with some of you here today, we bring people together to develop common solutions that promote all aspects of child well-being. When I speak, though, of caring for Texas children, it's with an understanding that Texans, all Texans, deserve a good start in life, but also a deep concern for the entire community that children grow up in. We do not move forward as a state when we leave anyone behind. The overwhelming cry we're hearing from our members and our partners is for a new vision for Texas and a demand for courageous leadership. We have heard leadership talk about protecting our rainy day fund while Texans are left unprotected. An economic downturn is not about a crisis of numbers, but a crisis impacting real people. Leaving even more Texas families vulnerable during an economic disaster is short-sighted and unconscionable. We need to work during this crisis to develop new ways of doing things, new solutions to chronic problems, developing strategies that help Texas families weather the crisis, while also providing us with the groundwork for propelling our state forward during economic recovery. The impact of the crisis at hand is not about budgets, but about real lives, about real individual potential we can choose to maximize or squander. This cannot be the moment when we fail Texas families, but rather this must be the moment when we as a state begin answering the call of Texas families like never before. When we unite, when our leaders take the political risk of pursuing the innovation we need, and we as a state demand of ourselves what we know we are capable of. Our social services have been bled for decades. Our critical safety nets and programs have been set up for failure, and yes, indeed, they have left many needs unmet. Now, in this emaciated state, our leaders again look to cutting and bleeding. It is time for a new vision of health and wellness for the state. Let this be the moment when we acknowledge how far we have shifted from the proud Texas we should be. Let us acknowledge that this is a time of crisis for many Texas families. Families who will measure success not by leadership claims of how our state is doing, but rather the personal experiences they are having within their own communities and within their own families. State prosperity cannot and does not exist in a vacuum. We cannot speak about balancing a budget with any integrity if that balanced budget does not come near meeting actual need. We do not gain prosperity by ignoring the challenges seen in our communities, the deficiencies in our schools, and the fact that our children are growing up without what they need to be healthy and well. When the state fails to address these issues, the challenges are not removed. State savings often become immediate local burdens and problems ignored exacerbate until they cannot be avoided and require costly, intensive interventions. We must change our trajectory of ballooning social and financial debt, and we can only do so by pursuing new solutions. We must call on our policymakers to expend their political capital on giving Texans a good start to life and must be willing to give them cover and visible support when they do so. This is precisely the session where we must turn things around or our prospects are grim. An uneducated, unprepared workforce plagued by unmet health and mental health needs. Among states, we spend the least per capita on our population. We have some of the very worst outcomes for our people and still, still we face an unfathomable budget shortfall. We must build honest budgets if we are to have a state that doesn't put the majority of its financial burden on the average working family. That honest budget demands attention to building revenue. Our state's outcomes match those of some of the poorest states in our nation. We are not poor in resources in Texas. We are not. But we have been poor in political will to do the right thing. This must be the moment when we change that and build true prosperity for Texas by tapping into our abundant resources to serve our people and save our state. Our appeal to our state leaders is for common sense and some state pride. These decisions that are being faced are not about numbers on papers in a pink building. They're about all of us and our shared vision for the state we want to live in. Thank you.